What it do, my good people in the YouTube world? It's your boy B, and I'm right back up at y'all with another video. And I told y'all already I was gonna get a lot more active. And um, you know, I'm just trying to stay true to my word, keep up my fans and people that's following me. And uh, you know, we're gonna break this fight down from every single angle, like I told y'all before. And today, I'm you know, I'm an analyst. I went to school for computer science. Um you know, I like to uh, look at, I like to crunch numbers. That's something I do for fun. So, of course, when I'm looking at a fight, I like to break down the numbers. All right. And um, I want to ask y'all the question, who has the better competition? People say that uh, Mayweather only fights bums. People say that Manny Pacquiao only fight bums. But today we're going to get into the numbers and we're really going to break it down. So what I've done for the people as i looked at the last 24 fights from both fighters and uh we uncovered some very interesting things all right so you know just a disclaimer these are not the every single fight that each guy's had i want to uh talk about when both guys got the national attention of course floyd mayweather has had natural attention since he went to the olympics however i'm gonna start talking about him with his toughest fight from his own mouth. And Floyd Mayweather said that his uh, toughest fight was against Emmanuel Augustus. A guy with a record of 22 and 16. So that uh, kind of let you know how far we're going to go back. And I'm going to take it back with um, Manny Pacquiao. With uh, Marco Antonio Barrera. Who at the time had a record of 57 and 3. So if we look back at the records. Um, Manny Pacquiao fought Barrera um, at November... 15th in 2003 and Floyd Mayweather for Emmanuel Augustus and um 10 21 2000 so the first glaring difference that you're going to notice is that Manny Pacquiao has had 24 fights since 2003 while Floyd Mayweather has only had 24 fights since 2000 and that'll let you know that um Manny Pacquiao is actually the more um active fighter but that's neither here nor there. That, that could mean something. That could not mean anything. But, you know, we're going to get into it. And um, in the last 24 fights, um, Manny Pacquiao has had some very notable names on his resume. He's fought uh, Tim Bradley. I'm not going to mention. Well, I'm obviously going to mention him because you're going to hear me mention his name, Chris Algeri. But he wasn't really too much of anybody. Um, you had Tim Bradley, who he fought. Uh, he fought Man Juan Manuel Marquez. He uh, fought Shane Mosley. He fought uh, Miguel Cotto. He fought Ricky Hatton. Oscar De La Hoya. Marco Antonio Barrera. Eric Morales. And um, in his last 24 fights, his opponents has had 1,016 wins and the combined 78 losses and 12 draws. And if you do the math, you know I omitted the draws, but... If you do the math, they all had a combined winning percentage of 92.9%. That means if somebody had the record of 1,016 and 78 losses, they have a 92.9 win percentage. As opposed to Floyd Mayweather, who has fought um, notable people such as uh, Sal Canelo Alvarez. He fought uh, Miguel Cotto also. Shane Mosley also. Also, Juan Manuel Marquez. He's also fought Ricky Hatton. He's also fought Oscar De La Hoya. He's fought Zab Judah. He's fought Jose Luis Castillo. And he's also fought Diego Corrales. And um, all of those guys, you know, obviously omitting some other, the, the minor people that he fought within those 24 fights. They have a record of uh, 887 wins and 80, 82 losses and 22 draws. With a uh, winning percentage, obviously omitting the draws, with a winning percentage of 91.5. Which is very interesting when you look at the numbers because Manny Pacquiao, his uh, opponents have a better winning percentage when you look at the numbers. But, you know, I'm from Long Island. And, um, you know, I live in Freeport right now, but I'm from the stack. But... Somebody who uh, was also raised in Long Island, whose name is Eddie Murphy. 
he came up with the with the joke, you know, the American girls is on some what have you done for me lately. And honestly, that's the culture that we live in. We live in a what have you done for me lately culture. So people can amass a very good uh, win total. But what really matters is what they've done lately. All right. And what I've done is I've taken, uh, you know, I've, 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 I've taken uh, <laughs> the road to look at. The people who Manny Pacquiao fought and Mayweather fought, what they've done three fights prior to fighting the major fight that they had with Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Meta, Mayweather. And um, what you discover is some very, very, very interesting things. And I think that this is actually more telling than the combined winning percentage of everybody that you fought. Now, um... The first disclaimer I'll make when I tell you this, I'm going to omit the rematches. And what you're going to notice is that Manny Pacquiao has had notable fights with some great fighters. He had a double fights with Barrera. He had a few fights with, uh, bu uh, you know, Marco Antonio um, Buggin, Juan Manuel Marquez. And he also had a bunch of fights with uh, Eric Morales. So what I've done was taken the uh, liberty to uh, basically take the first fight from each fighter. All right. And um, you uncover some noticeable things. All right. When you take the combined percentage of the actual people that Manny Pacquiao fought, what you're going to see is in that time period since 2003, he's actually fought only 17 opponents or different opponents. All right. And now that those 17 opponents in their last three fights, they amassed a record of 38, 11 wins and two draws. Once again, I omitted the draws. And, um, you know, when you do the percentage, they have a winning percentage of 77.6%. So basically what that means is out of, the, out of the people that Manny Pacquiao fought since 2003, if you take their last three fights... Their winning percentage is 77.6. All right. Now we go over to the other side and we look at Floyd Mayweather. And obviously I omitted the fights that he, you know, the double fights that he had with Marcos Maidana and Jose Luis Castillo. And uh, what you notice is that Mayweather opponents actually have a combined record of 52 and 7. Obviously omitting the draws, which they had two draws. And, uh. What we come up with is a winning percentage of 88.1. So while Manny Pacquiao does have a, you know, his opponents have a better winning percentage overall in their record since 2003 by about 1%. What you notice is that Mayweather, and you know, acts after you account for their last three fights, the what have you done for me lately effect, what you see is that Mayweather opponents have an actual 11% difference you know Mayweather opponents are 52 and 7 while uh Pacquiao's opponents are 38 and 11 all right and I've also taken the liberty to see who had losses or draws the fight prior to fighting Manny Pacquiao or Floyd Mayweather and what we come up with is that uh Brandon Rios had a loss prior to coming up against Manny Pacquiao Shane Mosley had a draw Joshua Clotty had a loss. Oscar Larios had a loss. Eric Morales has a loss. 3K had a draw. Barrera had a loss. So when you take into account the people that Manny Pacquiao fought that had losses prior to coming up against them, what you're going to see is that seven people... Out of the, uh, let me see. Actually, it's seven out of the 17 people that he fought had a loss or a draw going up into fighting um, Manny Pacquiao. Meaning 41.2% of the people that he fought prior to fighting him had a loss or a draw. Meanwhile, we take it to Floyd Mayweather and we realize that uh, Zab Judah had a loss going up prior to fighting Mayweather. Henry Brusalis had a draw prior to fighting Mayweather. 
And Demarcus Corley had a loss. So when you look at that percentage, he's actually fought 20 different fighters and only three of them had a loss or a draw. That equals out to about 15% of the fighters that Mayweather fought prior to the fight that they had with Mayweather had a loss or a draw. So basically Mayweather has fought 85% of the people coming into the fight with Mayweather has a win on their record. And this is very telling. This is very telling. The people that say that Mayweather has not fought anybody or that uh, the people that Mayweather fought were bums, when we actually break down the numbers, we see that 85% of the people who Mayweather fought was coming into the fight with a win as opposed to 58.8% of the fighters that Manny Pacquiao was coming off of a win. I don't know what that means, but I'll tell you this. Judging from the stats, it seems as if Mayweather fought the tougher competition. And I'm not even going to talk about the fact that the people who Mayweather fought were coming off the biggest victories of their lives. But that's another topic. Once again, keep it tuned in to your boy. And I'm going to break it down for y'all, man. All right? And I'm going to let y'all go out to the sounds of another Long Island legend. Gilles. Once again, I like to end my videos by saying this, man. Yo, snowing outside today. Y'all could have been anywhere. But y'all spending that time with your boy, Brad. And I definitely appreciate it. And again, rate, comment. Tell me what y'all think, man. My skin is tough, man. I got uh, leopard skin homes. <laughs> My Mexican accent is terrible. But y'all know what it is, man. Again, rate, comment, man. Y'all could have been anywhere. But y'all here with your boy, man. And I definitely appreciate it, man. And I will never forget y'all, man. Word. All right? Yeah.